Hi, everybody. We're Larry and Tiz Huck, and welcome to today's broadcast. Now, if you've ever watched us, and I pray you watch us every day, <laughs> I say this all the time because it's so important that people yeah. get this. In ancient Hebrew, there is no word for coincidence. The reason that is, is because God wants you to realize if something is happening to you, yeah. if God is showing you something, it's not a coincidence. Right. It's because he's about to yes. bring a miracle mm. into your life. Today, we're going to talk about breaking family curses, wow. break, breaking generational, generational curses. I'm born again. I'm a Christian. I love God. I'm a good person. Why are these things in my life? Yeah. It's not a coincidence. This is your day for a new beginning. Amen. Today we're talking about something that isn't talked about very often. Yeah. And I think one, it's because of embarrassment. Yeah. And two, I think a lot of it is because of misunderstanding of right. what scripture says, what Jesus says, what Jesus did. And we're talking yeah. about breaking family curses, yeah. breaking generational, generational curses. curses. And you know, we say this all the time and I, and I want everybody to hear this. I want you to know what I'm saying is that if all Jesus did yeah. was die for our sins mm. so that we could be forgiven, Tiz, yeah. and make heaven our home, we couldn't praise him enough, mm. we couldn't thank him enough, yeah. but what we've experienced, we want you to have yes. this. We know what it's like to be born again, yeah. be Christians, and, and be asking these mm. questions. Why are these things in our lives? Right. Why, is, why are these things attacking our marriage and yeah. attacking our home? And we learned these things almost 40 years ago, mm. but it, 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 it was always there, but it took us to know the truth yeah. so that truth could set us free. Yeah. And I think tis a lot of times, People have the misunderstanding that the moment I get saved, yeah. I should be perfect. Right. And so if we have these problems in our personal lives or in our marriages or in our homes or in our finances, there must be something, something wrong with wrong. me. Yeah. And so I'm not going to tell anybody about yeah. it. And, and let me say again, if all Jesus did was die for our sin, Absolutely. we couldn't praise him enough. But mm. listen to this. Jesus himself yeah. said to you, and it's not a coincidence. He's saying the, this to you today. I've come not just to get you into heaven, but right. I've come to give you life yes. and that life more abundantly. Yes. And that comes from number one, yes, receiving yeah. Jesus Christ yes. as your personal Lord and Savior, but then understanding the power of the cross, yep. the seven places Jesus shed yes. his blood yes. to break every curse and to release every blessing. Yep. And you know, this just jumped into my spirit. In ancient Hebrew, there's no word for coincidence. Tis, it's not a coincidence that God has laid it on our hearts yeah. to teach this right now. Yeah. It's not a coincidence that you're watching. It's not a coincidence. Have eyes to see, have ears yes. to hear, because right now we're in the middle of four blood moons. Yeah. Number eight, supernatural. We're in Shemitah, mm -hmm. which begins an end time transfer of wealth. Yeah breaking the curse of poverty, breaking the curse of failure, and we're going into Jubilee. Yep. Everything the enemy has stolen is being That's brought right. back. This is an appointed time yes. for God to break these curses off yeah. of people's lives. And you know, I just want people to know the reason we're so passionate about this is because this was real in our lives. I mean, we were as saved as saved can be. Dedicated. Born again. Oh my goodness, we were so dedicated. <laughs> And yet we were living in a struggle state yeah. always. Yeah. We struggled with so many different things. And I know sometimes, you know, people are taught, well, you know, you're born again, it's all it's all done right there. Yeah, instantly. Yeah. And if that's the truth, which I wish it was, but if it was the truth, then why are so many people struggling in their lives, their marriage, their families, their finances, in so many areas? You know, I know as a woman, uh, you talk a lot, Larry, about anger and about 
you know, the things that you struggled with. And it sets so many men free to be able to say, yeah, I have an anger problem. I'm dealing with How this. How do I break that? How do I break this? But I know a lot of women struggle with depression. They struggle with mood swings. They struggle with anxiety, all these things. And sometimes those can be a generational curse. And I know in my life, I had a generational curse from my family as a woman struggling with depression, and I didn't know how to break it. And it's so, not to blame our ancestors. It's not to blame anybody, but it's the same as, as you dealing with the anger. Women have hidden anger oftentimes. And I know today God is going to sever that root that holds you bound to those things. Just like when you got set free from anger, there's things that women need help on too. And you know, when we discovered how to break family curses, how to break generational curses, you know, you've heard me probably tell the story so many times that when uh, anger rose up in my life again and, and we're born again, we're Christians, we're pastoring a, churches in Australia. And I said these words, I'm just like my dad. Yeah. And then I went to the scripture and I said, is there in the scripture like yeah. father, like son? Yeah. And I realized that not only is it in there, but it's in there over 325 mm. times. Yeah. And, and we're born again. We're saved. Jesus yes. is our Savior. We're building churches. Love God. God is using us. Love God with our heart. But we learn through the blood of Jesus yes. and the power of the cross. Cursed is he who hangs on the tree. the tree. We learned, we learned how to break those generational curses. Yeah. You know, one of the gifts, and, and this may be a strange gift to you, but it's such an important, and when you have this on your shelf or on yes. your desk or, or, or yeah. in your kitchen or whatever, mm. this is a prophecy that was yeah. given to me in Jerusalem as Derek Prince laid hands yes. on me. Yes. We went and saw Derek Prince, and, and maybe next week I'll tell the whole yeah. story. Derek Prince, I was the last mm. one before Derek went to be yeah. with the Lord. My goodness. Derek Prince laid hands on me and released that anointing, and he said, you will be the arrow yeah. shot from the bow in God's hands mm. to destroy the enemy. Wow that's been destroying my people. That's why it's not a coincidence you're watching today. Yeah. It's not a coincidence that we're teaching this during the four blood moons. God is going to shoot like an arrow yes. into your life, yes. the anointing that will mm. be the burden removing yes. and the yoke destroying. We need to talk yes. about that when we come back. Yep. Who do men say that I am, Jesus asked. And Peter said, you're the Christ, the burden removing and, and the yoke, yoke the destroying. curse destroying. But it's, it's, it's something that is, it's already yours. Yeah. It's not something that you have to earn, earn. but the truth that you understand yeah. will set you free. Yeah. And, and, it, and not only understanding it, but God says, be not hearers of the right. word, but doers, doers also, also, as you help Tiz and I yeah. to go into the world, to go into Israel and break. I'm going to talk when we come back about a curse that is blocking the blessing of Jesus mm -hmm. on the church because of what we've taught yeah. concerning the Jewish people, concerning replacement theology. It's a curse. Yeah. But today that curse will be broken. Yeah. But it's so important to me and yeah. to Tiz and I that you get this, that... For any gift, we want to get the 10 curses that block the blessing. And, you know, I didn't even share this, I, I don't think, on any of our television programs. When Benny Hen, when Dodie Osteen, when Larry Stockstill, yeah. when the gentleman from South America said, the anointing of Derek Prince is on you. I didn't even know who Derek Prince was. No, uh -uh. They said, you need to have Derek lay hands on you. And it's and of all places, he lays hands on me. Yeah in Jerusalem, right when God is teaching us a love for Israel, yeah. to break the curse that's Not on right. our lives mm. because we've allowed our spiritual fathers right. to teach us replacement yep. theology. Right at that time, as I'm getting ready in two days to go to Israel, God wakes me up middle of the night, yes. remember? And he said, yes. there are 10 curses in the church yeah. on my people every Sunday morning. Mm. And I got up and I wrote that down God gave me several prophetic words for people. Yeah. And I told you in the morning, yep. you're going in to teach, Tiz was going in to teach a women's thing. Mm -hmm. And I said, God told me there are 10 curses yeah. that block the blessing. Every Sunday, 
every yeah. week on my people. Ten curses that are blocking the breakthrough. Yeah. And you said, what are what they? Are and they? I said, he didn't tell me. Yeah. He said, he'll let me know. I'm driving to church to meet some men. Yeah. And I reach in the side of my car and there's a tape. We, to this day, we don't no. know where it came from. Mm -mm. Not a coincidence. It's from Derek Prince. <laughs> and I put it in. Yeah. The first words I hear him say are, yeah. there are 10 curses that are blocking the blessing. Listen to me. Have eyes to see, have ears mm. to hear. Yes. This is your appointed mm. time. Four blood moons, yep. Shemitah, the change of finances, changing of finances in your life, your yeah. family, your business, and also mm. bringing the blessing of Jesus Christ yeah. to the Holocaust survivors, to Israel, yeah. to the whole Jewish Amen. nation. Yes. It is a package deal as we're getting ready to go into Jubilee. The curses in every area of your yes. life before we end this program, we're going to pray yep. and set the captive mm. free. Stay with us. We'll be right back.